Uh, good morning. Uh, it's Ellie uh, Tryon from Arts to Tryon Studio, and this morning we're going to talk about the value scale. Um, and I'm actually leading into painting uh, for those of you who want to improve your painting skills. What I'm showing you here is my palette, and all my palette only have is black and white. And I have mixed up a, a middle gray, a light middle gray, um, so that I can show you how to do this. Um, I also have in my uh, medium cup a little bit of medium to think uh, to thin thing the paint out and um, I'm going to mix up these grays for you to see uh, so that you can uh, practice them at home. The other thing that you can uh, do is you can make yourself up uh, think uh, a board like this. This is just a piece of paper with a little bit of gesso on it. And then what I'm doing, I'm going to do is put the value scale here. Uh, I've also uh, uh, have uh, provided you with a value scale uh, matrix that's already been done. And what you can do is print that off so that you can have something that will help you uh, guide you along the way. Now, what kind of paints can you use? Well... Actually, if you don't have any paint at all, you can use charcoal pencil and your white will be the white of the paper and then you'll start making it very light, uh, darker as you go across. You can use watercolor, you'll do the same thing. The white of the paper will be your white and then you'll start getting darker as you go across. You can use gouache, you can use acrylic paint, you can use oil paint. I'm using oil paint, so that's what we're going to be working with. So what we need is you need black, just a, a, any black paint will do, and you will need white. So here's your black and here's your white. A brush will do the trick. And so once I oh, do this, this is my black, and I'll start on this end of the paper. I'm just going to dip in a little bit into my medium. So it'll be a little liquidy. So if you're doing watercolor, your water will be your medium to do this with. But you will start at the other end and do it much lighter going across. And you're going to try to match up each of these to that scale that I've as close as possible to that scale. And if you notice, I've done four of them which means I'm going to ask you to do your value scale and then to match what you've done three more times. This is a good way of practicing and understanding how to get the values you need. Since I already have a medium light, I'm going to just take a little bit and I'm going to add it to my block here so I can bring it down another This is my little trick. I always go for a uh, very dark, a mid-tone, and then of course the lightest, which in this case will be white. Uh, so I mixed my middle tone. So now I'm going to be putting black in there. And I'm going to use my little scale that I have here, and I'm going to look and see if it matches like that. And it does. So I will put that there, dip a little bit into my medium. See, having a value scale, all you're doing is trying to make sure you have the same value as the scale you're working from. And it really does not matter what uh, shade of black. You can have bone black, ivory black. If it's acrylic paint, it's just going to say black. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the next and add a little bit more of my mid-tone because I already got a mid-tone in there. So I'm, I'm heading toward a mid-tone and I'm going to get a little lighter. And using my scale here, I'll match it up to that. See that? And then I can put it down here on my board that I have gessoed.
this is working toward the middle and as you can see these are the darks but this is a dark that's heading into the medium so they kind of overlap a little bit now i add a little bit more of that medium tone working toward the medium A little bit more dark in it. Yeah, now I'm getting it. See how I'm, what I'm doing? I'm matching what I have to here and then putting it down. And as you can see, as I'm going across here, it's getting a little bit lighter. Now I'm heading right into those mid-tones. And so this would be a mid-tone dark. Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit more on my mid-tone here. And I'm doing really well matching it up. This is probably as medium as you can possibly get at tone. Now what I'm going to do is clean off my brush a little bit because I'm getting into the lighter shades and I don't want them to be have too much dark in them. This is terpenoid, so you just do it that way. And here I'm just going to use right that mid-tone, that lighter mid-tone that I had, and put it right up there. And if you'll see, it matches really well. Just like that that's what you're gonna do and um, now the next time you've got to go a little lighter so this means I go over to my white grab a bit of white and I'm going to add it over here to that mid-tone I'm doing the opposite of what I did the other time because I'm getting it very light This is going to be your value scale. And if you notice, each time I go and I look to see if I got it to match on my brush. And like I said, you can use acrylic, you can use gouache, you can use acrylic, you can use oil paint. I'm using oil paint. And when you get to the white, you can either use the white of the paper. But in my case, I'm going to use the white of the, of the oil paint. Because oil painters literally use white. As so do gouache painters. So do acrylic painters. But you can always use it. And you can use that white right there. So now you're going from dark to light. Now, if you're going to be doing watercolor or graphic pencil, you want to start this way and start with your white, white of the paper, then use a wash of very light wash of, of you know, mixing your water with the, uh, with the black so that it just gives a tint and you let that dry, which won't take long, and then you'll do it again and keep adding a little bit more darker color to it and trying to match it as close as possible. But uh, this is a good beginning of how to create a value scale, and then you practice it again three more times uh, so that you can really get a nice value scale for yourself. And I'm only using eight because that's a good range of color to uh, values to use and so then that will help you with the next uh, exercise which will be uh, actually using and I've done this already I'm going to uh, provide you with a, a actually a black and a white photograph of this tree it's right in my yard or close actually my neighbor's yard um, 
it is a nice it's a beautiful tree and i've done some thumbnails of this already uh, so that i can decide what i want my composition to look like i'm leaning toward the portrait side of this uh, which means that if i take my pencil my uh, charcoal pencil or my graphite pencil and i do the little thirds in here like that you can see how that works really well the third the rule of thirds is working really well with this it's covering up all that and it's being right there it's a nice portrait of the tree if i do it over here the third rule it kind of right the edge See, always using the third rule of thirds, tic-tac-toe, um, you can see how that works really well for you uh, that way. So that you can decide which one really is speaking to you the proper way of whether this is going to work properly for you. How, what do you want to tell about that tree? Do you want to tell what's behind the tree as well as the tree itself or is the tree the really the the main focus that you want to talk about plus the shadow that's being on the tree so, uh the day i was doing it the sun it was a morning sun so we'll do that so practice doing uh your value scale and it's easy enough to do um like i said you can use any type of paint you want um anything from watercolor to uh, oil paint uh, if you don't have oil paint you you can use a pencil it uh, graphite pencil or a uh, charcoal pencil it works see that this is a graph just very lightly put it in there What I want to do is get it in the same value range as what I have here. See that? You want to do it in the same value range um, so that you would go across that way with the pencil. Uh, if you're using watercolors, you're going to do basically the same thing. You're going to do a wash and get make your wash a little darker darker until you're using the pure black at the end if you are using gouache acrylic paint or oil paint you can literally do your black and then work your way to the white uh, it works out really well that way for you so if you have any questions or you have some comments you'd like to make please post them on here all these little mini exercises are free so i would really like to hear from you see how they're working for you eventually i will be posting um paid classes on uh, and uh, other classes that you can actually join up on uh, subscribe to this and they will be at least an hour to two hours long classes uh, that will you actually learn a lot more uh, but join me in those because those live classes we will be working on uh, an art project. Uh, thanks a lot and I will talk to you uh, next week.